क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एफ एक्स इज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टेन एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री एक्सप्रेस एफ एक्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स प्लस ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी सो वी नो दिस फॉर्म वी गेट बाय द मेथड ऑफ कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर Now, for completing the square, there is one method very simple. You will not get confused. First thing is divide. Coefficient of x. By two. Second is write the terms of x square and x on left hand side, and others on that is a constant on right hand side. Third thing. Add whatever we get in number one. The coefficient of x divided by two. Add its the square on both sides. Left hand side and right hand side. Fourth. right x then either plus or minus this sign is of coefficient of x whatever is the sign of coefficient of x you write it here if it is plus you write plus if it is minus you write minus and then whatever you are going you have get here and the square of it just write in this form simple let me show you this method now first is divide the coefficient of x by 2 number 1 let let me show you how i'm doing this thing number 1 this is our equation divide the coefficient of x by 2 so this is 10 over 2 that is 5 Number two, write the terms of x square and x on left hand side and other on right hand side. So that is x square minus ten x on one side, and this this term this is a constant on other side. So when we are going to take it other side, we change the sign. So it will be minus. This is the number two. Number three. Add what we get from this from number one. It's a square on both sides. So I have get got five. So I have to add x square minus ten x is equal to minus twenty three. So what I'm going to do is. Plus five square plus five square. I'm at now the number four is right x plus or minus whatever is the sign of the coefficient of x. This is minus, so I will write minus here. Plus whatever number we have squared, this number, not twenty-five, this number is equal to. This is minus three, and this plus five square. This is twenty-five minus twenty-three is equal to two. So this is x minus five square minus two. So this is f x. If we compare with this, 
this is a and this is b so a is equal to minus 5 minus yes and b is equal to minus 2 so it's as simple as this one part b hence or otherwise find the exact solution of this now part b is so what we have here is x square minus 10x minus plus 23 is equal to 0 this I can write as x minus 5 square minus 2 is equal to 0 because we have just proved fx is this and fx is also x minus 5 square minus 2 so x minus 5 square is equal to 2 we are writing the square root of both sides so x minus 5 is equal to plus minus root 2 so x will be 5 will come here so this is 5 plus minus root 2 so this is the value of x now part c Let me start part C from here. Y minus 10Y to the power 0 0.5 plus 23 is equal to 0. Use your answer of part B to find the large solution of this equation. The larger solution. So let's see. This is the one and our equation is x square minus 10x plus 23 is equal to 0. Now we can see there that x square is equal to y and x is equal to y to the power minus 0.5. So let's see if x square is equal to y then x is equal to y to the power half or y to the power 0 0.5 so this equation can be written as this is x square minus 10 x plus 23 is equal to 0 this is exactly the same equation now it's what is its solution so its solution is x is equal to 5 plus minus root 2 he's talking about the larger solution so for the large solution we are not going to write negative here only positive but actually the equation is y not x so x square is y so x square so it means we square both sides so x square is y is equal to square of this square of first plus a square of second plus 2 first term and second term that is the standard procedure of finding the square of a polynomial with two terms so y is equal to this is 25 root 2 is 2 plus 10 root 2 so y is equal to 
27 plus 10 root 2. So this is P, this is Q and this is R. So this is the solution that is P, this is Q, P is 27, Q is 10, R is 2 and the value of x is this in the second part and the first part is negative 5 and b is negative 2. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel.